In today's episode, I talk about how to get over feeling awkward. Welcome to episode 244 of the Honest Entrepreneur Show, where I help creatives like you to master your marketing. My name's Tom Ross, and let's get into it. Guys, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I'm sick. We batch record these episodes, so I mentioned I was sick like three or four episodes ago. It's the same day. We're still sat here. We're still recording. I literally just want to fall asleep on the desk. Marco's laughing at me, being very mean. (laughs) <laughs> and we've got, I think we've got 12 more episodes to record today. So I am all aboard the struggle bus right now. I hope I have your sympathies. We know man flu is a dangerous, dangerous thing. This question is from Mohona. I like your advice about standing out by being super personal. But sometimes I get super awkward about getting too personal. Because I keep thinking people won't really care. And they might feel like what I'm sharing is unnecessary or just too much. Any tips? Hey, Mahona, that's a great question. Um, The answer is feeling uncomfortable is a good thing. It's a sign of growth. If you are constantly comfortable, it means you're in your comfort zone. And if you're always in your comfort zone, you're not growing or going anywhere. So embrace the discomfort uh, would be my advice. I'm actually working on some content on an Instagram post about this, but I view it almost as like levels where you can power up your confidence and you can try and shed some of that imposter syndrome because it sounds like that's what you have. You're inside your head, you're filled with self-doubt and that's something we all go through. So um, this post with the levels, I make it very actionable where I'm like do small steps which are very easy at level one and they get progressively harder and harder and harder in terms of the confidence uh, and the audacity needed to pull them off. And the reason I think this is important is it makes it quite granular, right? If you're at level one, you do level one until that becomes comfortable and you no longer feel uncomfortable. Then you progress to level two. And because that's a bit more difficult, you feel uncomfortable initially until you do that for a while. And then that becomes comfortable and rinse and repeat. This is what I've done for my entire career. Um, You know, the first time I recorded this podcast, I felt pretty damn uncomfortable. And that's after doing another one for years. So Um, I went from doing a billion takes and reshooting and getting in my head and doubting myself and all that horrible stuff. It was pretty uncomfortable. I was being vulnerable. I was doing all the stuff which you just described. Um, And I was in my head the same way you are. Are people going to care? Are they going to judge me? Do I suck? And now I feel like shit today. Like I, you know, I'm full of cold, I have a foggy head. I don't look my best, but I'm on camera in one take giving you my authentic answer. Here's my answer. Like, I I don't care. I don't feel the least bit uncomfortable right now. I feel completely comfortable in my own skin and confident doing the show because I've done it so many times. This is episode 244. That's crazy. When you do something 200 times, it tends to get pretty easy. So um, that would be my advice. Like, embrace that discomfort. um, Do it more until it becomes normal and it's not uncomfortable. And then that is a clear indication that you need to do something even harder that will now make you feel that level of discomfort again. That's it. Question of the day, what is something that currently scares you or makes you feel uncomfortable? Let me know in the comments below. Hey YouTube person, this is definitely not staged at all. But if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel for more goodness like this. And if you did like this video, I hope that you enjoy these ones too.